So here we go. Welcome to another video. Today, as you can see by the title, I gotta clean up this thing. And yes, there I am, shaking my head. Curious George at his finest. And what is he thinking, folks? Yeah, I decide to uh, go for a little walk. You know, get that sunshine, vitamin D and everything. Think about why I almost tripped over my dog. And in flip-flops. Yes, folks, let the toes be free. The toes need to be free. You know? And here I'm coming back. It was just a quick walk, just to clear my head. Here you will get to see old prints and everything. Happy to see me wagging his tail. Can't believe that I just came back from a long journey. And of course, the moment of realization in my face that I gotta do the deed. I gotta do it. Cue in the now moment. So, I don't know about a lot of people, but I like to think as cleaning my room, as like I'm building Legos. It just relaxes me. And what I typically do is I start with the resting place, my bed. So here we go. Taking off some socks and a weight that I was using for exercise earlier, you know, for my shoulders and I start with the blankets. The blankets are usually easier for me to just think about, and just fold. It's very soothing too. Somehow having it like lined up and folded and having it all nice. I don't know. It calms me. I move on to the second blanket soon. And here I just, I allow myself not to think too seriously about anything, just, just to have it neat. I focus on my breathing a little bit and just having positive energy because um, I'm doing a task that should be my go-to, you know, but sometimes I slack off. Uh, there's some days I just don't want to do it, but here we are. On the plus side, it gives me something to look forward to, you know, to wrap myself up in those covers and everything. I typically like to take my time and set a day to, to restart and remake things in my room. Thankfully, uh, I don't have that much stuff to do when it comes concerns my room is fairly clean i try to keep it things but you know life happens and you just have to like restart re, re redo things and have fun with it that's the whole point of maintenance right now that that's done you're here i am going to go down to the ground uh just taking off any dog hairs that usually come in because since it's a carpet and everything. This is part B. All right. So as you can see, I speed it up a little bit. Now here's a question. As uh, I'm kicking the imaginary football. Do y'all like Carpet or wood better in rooms? I'll let you comment that down below as you're watching me in 1.6 speed, I think. Getting all those hairs and everything. 
And yes, if y'all aren't wondering, I have some big feet and I like walking barefoot when the chance allows it. Makes me feel good to just spread out them toes, to free them toes, as I said before. <laughs> I think I just am getting the last of it. Checking around. Oh, and I can't forget about the big chair. You never know what could be hiding in those corners, covering everything as much as I can. Wiggling them toes, enjoying it. Oh, look at that. That's a nasty bugger right there. Oh yeah, don't touch it. It'd be dangerous, mate. Now that's in order, all we gotta do just spray it down so it can get a, a nice uh, smell. Again, nothing too fancy here. I'm not trying to douse it or pepper spray it or balm it, whatever you want to call it. Just wanted to to have a nice smell, a good smell, really calms the nerves. So that's pretty much it. I'm just waiting for the room to to cool down with the strength since the scent is pretty strong. I use the Lysol, or I think it's Febreze, crisp linen. Vanilla is really good as well. In the next video that I make, if you're wondering why I didn't go into my closet, it it's a video for itself so tune in for that and i'll see you in that video